Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm teacher Emmy and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Now let's start our discussion on page 150. Okay, so we're now on lesson number 48, and the topic is post-listening activity. Again, the topic is post-listening activity. Okay, so let's try to see the teacher's language. We have here the first one. Let's see how much we understood. Next, first of all, do you have any questions? Next one. What did Inho say next? And you understood the dialogue really well. Okay, so those are some of the teacher's language regarding the topic post listening activity. Now let's see the dialogue part of it so we can have a better understanding of it. So the dialogue part starts with after listening to the tape or CD, so the teacher said, Let's see how much we understood. First of all, do you have any questions? And then the students, no response. Then the teacher, can anyone tell us what Inho said about table tennis? Mina? Okay. Mina said, he likes to play table tennis. Teacher, right. So why didn't they play table tennis? Junho Junho said Sung Hun didn't want to Teacher why not? Then Jung Hun said he was tired Teacher So what did Inho say next? Homin Homin said play a video game Teacher Yes, he said, let's play a video game. You understood the dialogue really well. Alright, so that's it for the dialogue part. Now let's study the other expression, starting with number one, the expression, let's see how much we understood. So the teacher can also say, let's see how well we understood it. Let's see how much you got out of it. And let's find out how much we understood. Okay, no number two we have here. First of all, do you have any questions? The teacher can also use, first of all, are there any questions? Or, first of all, was there anything you didn't understand? Okay, now number three, what did Inho say next? After that, what did Inho say? Or what did Inho said just then? Okay. And number four, we have here the expression, you understood the dialogue really well. The teacher can also say you really got it or you understood the dialogue quite well. Okay. Now that's it for the other expressions. Now here we can see again the Korean translation of the dialogue part that we've just read a while ago. And here is the, the continuation of it. Alright, now here we have an important note. And the topic is asking a question before calling on a student. So you can read this part so you will have an idea about the dialogue that we've just read, okay? Now let us go to the next one. Lesson number 49. Lesson number 49's topic is repeating a dialogue. Again, repeating a dialogue. Okay, so let's study the teacher's language first. So the first one is, now we're going to listen to the dialogue again and repeat it. Next, we have the sentence, I'll stop the tape or CD after each sentence. 
and just a minute, everybody. You're not saying it all together. Let's try it again from the beginning. Okay, now let's see the dialogue part of it so we can better understand that topic. So we have here the teacher speaking first. Now we're going to listen to the dialogue again and repeat it. I'll stop the tape or CD after each sentence. Are you ready? And then the student said, yes, teacher. Okay, let's listen and repeat. The students do not repeat the dialogue together smoothly. And the teacher said again, just a minute, everybody. You're not saying it all together. Let's try it again from the beginning. Okay, now let's study the other expressions again from that dialogue part. So number one, we have here the sentence. We're going to listen to the dialogue again and repeat it. The teacher might also say, listen to the tape or CD again and repeat the dialogue. Or, we'll listen to the tape or CD again and repeat what it says. Okay, number two, we have, I'll stop the tape or CD after each sentence. We also have here, I'll stop the tape or CD so you can repeat each sentence. Another one is, I'll stop the tape or CD and give you time to repeat each sentence. Okay, number three, we have here, just a minute, everybody. The teacher can also say, everyone stop. Hold on, everybody, or just a second, everyone. And the last expression is, let's try it again from the beginning. The teacher can also say, let's start again and say it all together, okay? So those other expressions just mean the same thing, and it can also be used in the dialogue. Now here below again is the Korean translation of the dialogue part. So that's it for today's lesson in this video. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm Teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye!